Brave five-year-old girl marries best friend in a beautiful wedding to fulfill ultimate dying wish. A girl of five years old was told she had cancer, so she wrote a list of things she wanted to do and the first item on the list was to marry her best friend, who was six years old. Her parents granted her final wish in order to honor her memory. It's one of the most difficult things a parent can go through to see their children in pain and having them struggle with debilitating illnesses like cancer can be extremely difficult on a parent. In circumstances like these, parents would do all in their power to cheer up their ailing children and put a smile on their faces. They're willing to go to any lengths, even if it includes arranging for their daughter, who's only five years old, to be married to her best friend. In 2014, a married couple received the information that would prove to be the most upsetting of their whole lives. The Patterson family's daughter, Elida, who had just been two years old at the time, was found to have neuroblastoma, a kind of cancer, by the attending physicians. Following a number of rounds of chemotherapy and operations, the physicians came to the conclusion that any further medical treatment would only serve to extend Elida's life rather than cure the cancer. They broke the news to her parents in 2017 that the five-year-old daughter did not have a long life expectancy. Gail Patterson, Elida's mother, took the disappointing news to heart and, together with her daughter, compiled a list of things they wanted to do before she died. On the list were items like traveling to Disney World, going to the zoo, and having a room that was bright pink. However, the first item on her list was not fulfilled and she was disappointed. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to be inspired by these real-life stories on a daily basis. Now, let's return to the story. The first item on Elida's bucket list was that she wanted to marry her best friend, Harrison Greer, who was only six years old at the time. Gail shared with Harrison that she had asked him about their future together, and she had assured her that they would be married. The mother recalls the following. Even more, he took one of his mother's rings in order to offer it to her as a gift. The request that Elida had on June 18, 2017 was granted, her parents planned a princess-themed wedding ceremony for her, during which she donned a cute dress and a crown that sparkled. The event was a surprise for her. The wedding was attended by Elida's friends and relatives, who all witnessed her beaming as she made her way down the aisle. While Elida and Harrison listened to Gail read their fairy tale, which had been penned by Gail, they stood in front of the altar. According to the story, Elida was a princess who never gave up hope despite the fact that her disease, known as the Beast, was trying to kill her. Gail went on to explain, I was able to steal her hair, but it was unable to take away her grin. The fairy tale explained that Garrison intended to marry Elida, so the two of them did so without any knowledge of what the future held for them. The moral of the story was that one should make the most of their lives because one never knows what the next day would bring. When it came time to swap rings, Harrison and Elida instead presented one another with a necklace in the shape of St. Christopher. When their friends and family looked at them and smiled, it was decided that they were best of friends. Gail was relieved to see her daughter dancing and having fun after having to witness her daughter go through a number of grueling chemotherapy treatments, surgical procedures, and blood tests. For once, rather than spending her time in and out of hospitals, Elida decided to actually live her life. Gail said, it's unquestionably fair to give it to her. Elida is the most courageous little kid on the face of the planet, and she very certainly qualifies as a superhero. People all around the world saw Elida go down the aisle to stand beside her Prince Charming after videos of the unconventional wedding ceremony went viral and were shared online. Soon after, a fundraising drive had been launched on social media, and people began donating money in order for tiny Elida to fulfill more of the goals that had been written down on her bucket list. The goal of the fundraising campaign was to gather 10,000 pounds, but thanks to the generosity of the donors, Elida was able to collect more than 12,000 pounds to grant her wishes. Due to the fact the little child had passed away on July 1, 2017, she was able to put the money to good use. Her mother posted the upsetting news on Facebook page for the fundraiser event. In her words, It is with great sadness that I inform you that Elida received her angel wings at 11.45 a.m., on Saturday, July 1st. The aggressive progression of Elida's cancer led to a deterioration in her condition. The little girl's loved ones gathered to say their final goodbyes, and shortly thereafter, she closed her eyes for the final time. 
A funeral with a pink theme was held for the cheerful child, and her family made sure that everyone remembered how alive Elida was by hosting the funeral. They prepared a casket in a vivid shade of pink, and the attendees of the funeral wore costumes depicting princesses and superheroes. Gail said she captivated the attention of everyone she encountered and will be much missed as a result. What would you do if you were in Gail's place? Would you do the same thing for your daughter, trying her best to beat cancer? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone else who might enjoy it as well. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.